tell me about it, man. Just go for it. What was it? Just lay it out there Friday yeah. night. Go well, for it. Well, Rich, the the best part is, and you, you know this better than anyone, they always tell you in those big moments to really resist the urge to say anything. Yes. And yet about 85 seconds went by. And I forgot I was commentating the game. <laughs> I, 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 I literally was so enthralled with the moment to then see him celebrate at the end and run over and see his mom, his dad, his family, his kids. Uh, it, it is as surreal of a moment I've ever been a part of, and that includes the Zlatan Ibrahimovic debut for the Galaxy, which we could always get into a debate, but the Hollywood screenwriters may be on strike, but I feel like they mm. wrote one script, and that was for David Beckham. No, and, you know, Zlatan is Zlatan. And, you know, <laughs> I, I think that speaks volumes, even though I just only said three words. <laughs> but Messi's on a different level, right? I mean, he's just on a different level. Yeah. Taylor? Yeah, and even Zlatan would tell you that. You know, he, he sat down with me two or three times, for long interviews with ESPN, and and there was a reverence to Messi. You know, there wasn't a reverence to Pep Guardiola. There wasn't a reverence to Thierry Henry. But for someone like Zlatan, for someone like Thierry Henry, anyone in this game, number 10 from Argentina shows up, there's a reverence. They know, we know, everybody knows. I just think what's remarkable here is that he just started training four days ago, Rich. And so while his teammate, his best friend, Sergio Busquets, is on the record of saying how fit he's been, staying fit, Messi needed time off. He just won the World Cup, then he immediately went in to finish the European Club season. He needed time off. He shows up in Miami. He trains three times, and he's not going to run around and buzz around the way he used to 10 years ago or when I played against him in 2007. But Rich, just different that there's an element of the bigger the moment, the easier it is for him. And I think there's athletes on one hand that you and I could talk about for an entire radio show that we could say did that, that actually has the ability to pull it off. And to get David Beckham to cry, huh. that says it all. Well, I mean, that because it, it had to – I can only imagine how long Beckham was at it, right? And, and, then, oh. he, and then he finally lands him. And then in the first match, that happened. That he would even have an opportunity, right? right? Like that, that right, the opportunity would come right, along like, and then he would cash it in like that. Of course exactly. he's going to cry. Right. Exactly. And even more so, Rich, it took David Beckham eight and a half years just to get the franchise, <laughs> let alone Lionel Messi. Right. Then COVID hits. I mean, he's been punched in the gut three or four times. I just think there was a real moment there for the Moss family and Beckham, and I think the emotion, sh- it, they showed that real emotion. Taylor Twelman from Apple TV, lead MLS analyst, and of course, former MVP of the league, joining us here on the Rich Eisen Show. Just can you explain to me what the atmosphere was like? Uh, more, more uh, Argentina kit than than Inner Miami split. What do you got for me on that front? Uh, way, mo- way more pink than I thought I would have seen. Uh, it was cool. way, there was obviously there's the Argentina jerseys. And you're going to see that. You're seeing that at the all-star game in DC. You're mm-hmm. just, now that he's here, all of that's going to come out. You saw some of the Paris jerseys, but I was stunned how much pink there was. But honestly, the atmosphere was like, you know, any other Friday night for me, you know, Serena Williams, LeBron James, Kim <laughs> Kardashian, just the whole nine yards. Right? Just like any other ordinary, normal MLS game, buddy. <laughs> that everyone was there, right? I mean, and your, your broadcast was all over that. <laughs> By the way, there was a great shot. Our, our buddy Pat McAfee popped on his Instagram too. I don't know if you saw that, but everyone was was had their phones up um, when Messi was yes. kicking, uh, you know, attempting the game winner. I think it was the game winner, or the the eventual game winner, right? Uh, but no, the but, picture actually, Rich, the picture was when he was coming, coming on. In, All of those right. celebrities had the phone up. And, Rich, it's one of the best photos. For, for your listeners, you got to find it. Mm-hmm. And yet only one person didn't have his phone up, and it was David Beckham. Yeah, it was. And I think, Rich, there was it was so symbolic for me right? because he, oftentimes, and I didn't pull my phone out once. I don't have a single, single picture from that night. But, Rich, I'm old school. You know me a little bit. I, I, I wanted to be so enthralled with the moment. I didn't care about text and pictures and all that. I just thought that picture was amazing. Everybody's taking a picture, and David's sitting there just taking it all in. Yeah, he's like, I'm Beckham. So, you know, I can, I'll can. i just take a mental photograph of this moment. Taylor Twelman here on the Rich Eisen Show. So what's next? 
What, what's the next step? Tuesday, right? Yeah, good luck. Tuesday night, uh, good luck on the uh, sequel to that. I Honestly, this is more intriguing to me because of the soccer part. This mm-hmm. is Atlanta United where Inter-Miami's head coach won an MLS Cup. Uh, this is where Joseph Martinez, who now looks like the old Joseph Martinez a little bit, who's now playing with Messi, scored 77 goals in three years for, for Atlanta. So now there's going to be an animosity. Uh, I just left the press conference before uh, calling you. Mm-hmm. They, Messi's now the captain, it sounds like. Messi's going to play a little bit more. Bruschetti's going to play a little bit more. I think you're going to get a little bit more of a taste of what Inter-Miami and Major League Soccer is going to look like with Messi in it. Well, I'll be honest with you, Taylor. Uh, this is the first Tuesday of NFL tra- – Monday of NFL training camp opening week in the nine years we've been here, uh, I guess eight in which we've had an opportunity because we came on during the middle of a football season nine years ago, that we've been talking MLS. I mean, uh, that Friday moment was exactly what the the you know league wanted or could use – um, one thousand percent as well for the television partner and in Apple TV. Do you think this is going to actually keep cutting through, or does Messi need to keep having these transcending moments? What do you got for me on that, Taylor? I think he. I think he has to win. I don't think he has to hit a ninety-fourth minute game-winning shot every <laughs> single game. I think anyone that expects that is going to be out of their coconut. But. Rich, to your point, you've got this summer, next summer's Copa America, Argentina's in that. Guess who's the face of that tournament? Messi, an MLS player. 2025, FIFA Club World Cup. 26, the World Cup. So for the next three summers, all the eyeballs in the world for almost six to eight weeks, everywhere in the world is going to be on this country, and guess who the face of it is now. So I, I just look at this, I think Apple TV allows you and rich you and i know this but the listeners don't understand that highlight is not geo blocked that highlight hit over a hundred million views in less than 24 hours amazing a lot of times debut is geo blocked so no one around the world could see that so the power of apple tv having the rights to major league soccer in 107 countries that in and of itself with the greatest player in the world that tells you right now it's gonna it's gonna infiltrate and transcend sports and soccer. I think faster than Beckham did, Zlatan, anyone else, right? And so then you couple that with the runway of the next three years going into the World Cup. Rich, I just think the time is now, and I think a lot of people are starting to see it. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern for free. 